Hey YouTube, my name is Crimson Sparrow and I've been a Twitch streamer for about three years and now I'm on YouTube as well. Today I want to talk about one of the main differences on YouTube that you don't see on other platforms like Twitch, which is creating thumbnails. Uh, creating thumbnails is a really, really big part of videos and it's really important if you want your videos to get clicked on and people to watch. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how I like to make thumbnails for my live streams and videos that are saved afterwards. There's three ways that I feel like you can go about this, uh, which is creating one during your stream or creating one from saved videos of previous streams or even just videos in general, um, or you can create one before your streams altogether. Uh, and I do the last one, which is creating one during um, the prep time for my streams. Uh, so one of the ways that you can go about doing this is getting a picture from online, uh, which is something that I like to do. Uh, I get a picture that I feel like is a good representation of the game. Um, yeah. So for this specific video, I'm going to be kind of going through making a thumbnail by making a thumbnail for this video. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me show you. I use Streamlabs to stream on Twitch and on YouTube, and I also have started using it to make my thumbnails. So over here you have your, they're called scenes. Uh, it kind of just goes through different, you know, scenes. And you can create different sources that'll show up on those scenes. So I created a scene uh, specifically for my thumbnails so that it would be easier for me to go back to it whenever I wanted to make a thumbnail. So some of the things that I added are right here. Um, usually I only have one image and that is going to be like the main image that you will see for my thumbnail. Um, but for this specific video, I added a few different ones because I wanted to have all the different thumbnails that I've kind of created for my videos, just because I feel like, you know, this video is about thumbnails. So. Uh, another thing you can do is add other elements like this uh, that are a little bit more transparent and you can kind of add them to the thumbnail. Uh, just picture this as my thumbnail right here. So we're going to take away my display capture here. And now you see uh, the different pictures that I've used for some of my thumbnails. Um, I'm not going to use this uh, for this thumbnail though. But I just wanted to show you that you could do that. It's really cool. It has a transparent background around it. And whenever you add it to this, it maintains that transparent background. Uh, and another thing you can do is add a text source uh, that, you know, you're probably used to seeing on thumbnails. Uh, and then you can kind of go in and edit it so that it matches whichever part you're on for that video. Uh, I'm not going to be doing it for this video though. Uh, and then of course, if you want it, you can add your camera source, which is what I'm going to do today. Normally I would have it on whichever side I'm going to be doing that stream on so that, you know, it's a little bit consistent. Uh, for the specific thumbnail, I'm going to be doing it just right here. So uh, I think the pose that I'm going to go with is like this. Like something very dramatic. Uh, yeah. And that's pretty much it. After this, I would go back to the recording of the video if I created one for making the thumbnail, you know, going through different poses and picking whichever one is best. Uh, and then I would screenshot at that moment that I feel I'm going to use. Uh, and then I will edit the screenshot and kind of like crop it into only the specific parts that I want shown on the thumbnail, uh, which is what I'm going to do for this. So, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my actual content, like the live streams. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch as well. I stream there pretty regularly, um, about twice a week, and then I stream on YouTube once a week. So uh, follow there, subscribe here, and comment if you have any suggestions for specific videos you want to see. Thank you.